yeah, we got it going on, yeah, 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 we got it going on, yeah. Hey, what's going on, YouTube? So I want to explain something. I want to explain macros and micronutrients. Macros and micronutrients are two different things. Macros, ma macronutrients are carbohydrates, proteins, fats, and alcohol. Micronutrients, micronutrients are your vitamins and minerals like zinc, potassium, iron, phosphorus, all those fucking minerals and vitamins that the body needs to function. Now I want to start off by saying micronutrients is just as important as macronutrients, okay? Now, do I count my calories? Do I count my macros? Do I count my micros? I don't count nothing. Uh, the only time I count it is the days that I do a what I ate in a day video or something like that. I'll put the calories on the fucking thing. But I kind of have an understanding of how many calories there are in foods already because I've been doing this for more than six months, more than eight months, almost a year now, you know what I mean? So I kind of have an idea of what my foods, the foods that I eat consist of, all the fruits and vegetables. I'm a vegan, I'm a vegetarian, and I just farted in your face. So, <laughs> so I already kind of have an idea of what calories and macros are, what in foods. Now I can sit here and tell you, I probably eat around 800 to 900, car 900 grams of carbs a day. Now a lot of you are probably like, Jesus Christ, that's so many carbs. But I'm not fat, I'm fucking thin. Now the reason why I'm so thin and I eat all these fucking carbs in a day, I probably eat like 500 to 900 grams of carbs a day and I'm fucking still thin while some people are eating 300 grams, 200 grams, 150 grams of carbs a day and they're fucking fatter than me. Well, it's all calories. Life has a fucking balance and if you go over that balance, you're going to get fat. Now when it comes to macronutrients, the main source of macronutrients you need to consume it's carbohydrates. Don't worry about fat. Don't worry about fucking protein. Because protein is not what the fuck we need in our fucking body. That's why there's little to no protein in fucking fruits and vegetables. There's protein in vegetables like rice, potatoes, beans, root, like yuca, potato and fucking potatoes and fucking sweet potato, all shit like that. There's fucking protein and greens, there's fucking protein in fucking vegetables. But there's little to no protein in fruits. And fruits is ideal for the human body, for the anatomy. Fruit is what we need to consume daily in the day in order to do activity. And the reason why us vegans are so skinny, are so thin, is because it takes a high volume of food in order for us to get fat. Meaning we need to consume a lot of fucking calories in order to get fat on fruit and vegetables. You know, there's barely any calories on fucking fruit and vegetables. That's why we can eat so much volume, volume meaning a lot of fucking food we can eat like there's a lot of fucking food and we will still be thin because all that food is so that much calories you know what i mean that's why vegans are that's why every vegan is fucking thin as fuck that's why they look so goddamn anorexic because we, we, that's why because there's fucking little to no calories in fucking fruits and vegetables and all those calories that are in fruits and vegetables are carbohydrate calories they're all carbohydrate calories. There's no fucking fat calories in fruits. There's no fucking protein calories in fruits. There's nothing but carbohydrate calories. And this is what the body is fucking designed to live off. This is what the brain is designed to live off of. Now, if you see, you, you see most of us went to school, went to high school, right? And the fucking kid that was in your class, the Asian kid that was in your fucking class, always had the A's, always had the B's, never had the C's, never had the D's, never ever seen an F in his fucking life except for the alphabet. The reason for this is because Asians eat a high carbohydrate diet. Their main diet consists of fucking rice and noodles, which is carbohydrates. And this is what the brain needs to focus. This is what the brain needs to read. This is what the brain needs to focus. This is what the brain needs to do things. Everything from your head to your toes is a muscle. So when you eat carbohydrates, carbohydrates get stored into your muscle. See my fingers? My fingers is full of muscle. My fingers is full of nerves. My fingers, my brain is full of muscle and nerves that connect all the way to the fingers and is what gives it power. It gives everything in the body power. So every cell, every cell, you can Google this, every cell in the human body runs off of carbohydrates, runs off of sugar. So if you're feeding your body carbohydrates, your body is gonna run, 
your body's going to run very, uh, very efficient, very, very, your body's going to run strong as shit if you're feeding your body carbohydrates. Now, when I say carbohydrates, many of us are going to think of donuts and pizza and fucking cookies and fucking, those are carbohydrates, but they're not nutritious. Yeah, we, we are allowed, we, we can eat fucking cookies and donuts, but I'm not telling you to eat cookies and donuts every day. Maybe do that, eat that shit on your fucking rest day when you're not fucking doing anything. Or maybe after your fucking workout, you know, once once a week or, you know, a few times throughout the month. But don't eat those type of car don't eat those type of calories. Don't eat those type of carbohydrates every single day. The carbohydrates that you need to be eating for optimal health performance is from fruits and vegetables. Now when it comes to micros, micros like zinc and fucking phosphorus and fucking potassium and fucking iron and fucking uh, all these minerals and shit. They are abundant in fruits and vegetables. You know, a lot of us will eat, you know, for carbohydrates to, for pre-workouts. A lot of us will have a donut. A lot of us will have fucking greasy ass pizza. And there's no fucking micronutrients in those. And we're wondering why we have all these pimples in our fucking face. We're wondering why our skin is so dry. We're wondering why our hair is always falling out. We're wondering, we're wondering why there's so many fucking pimples. I got acne on my back. My skin isn't clear. It's always... It's because you're not getting any micronutrients. And the micronutrients as fucking minerals that the body needs to be clean. It's the minerals and vitamins that the body needs to have strong fucking bones, to have fucking strong fucking eyes, to have strong fucking nails, to have strong skin, to have glowing skin, to keep your fucking youth. So if you're not eating your micros just as much as you're eating your fucking macros, you're gonna be unhealthy. So it's good, so this is why I recommend a plant-based diet, the majority of your diet should be from plants because then you will have an efficient and even amount of macros and carbohydrates. We don't fucking need fat. We don't fucking need fucking um, protein. We only need fat when we're going to go somewhere very, 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 very far with little to no food. That's when we need fucking fat. We only need protein if you fucking work out eight hours a fucking day and you rip the fuck out of your muscle and you can't even barely lift your fucking arm. You barely can fucking, you do, you do fucking, you're working out your biceps for 10 hours a day doing the same shit and all of a sudden your fucking bicep rips. Oh shit, and you can barely fucking, when you go like this, ah, it starts to like cramp up. That's when you fucking need protein. That is only, the only fucking time you need protein. You don't need fucking protein every single day, okay? So this is my speak on macros and micronutrients. You guys have a good day and thank you for watching.